Have you ever wondered about the intriguing world of Naginata, the ancient Japanese martial art? This long-bladed weapon, a symbol of the samurai's wife, has a fascinating history that stretches back centuries and an equally captivating evolution in the modern era. So sit back and delve into the tale of the Naginata, a story that weaves together tradition, modernity, and the empowerment of women. It all started in the Heian period between the 8th and 12th centuries when the Naginata emerged as a weapon of war. Over time, this martial art evolved to be associated with the samurai classes and particularly with the samurai women who were trained to defend their homes while their husbands were away at war. Fast forward to the 20th century and the Naginata underwent a modern adaptation in the form of Atarashi Naginata. This new style was designed to make the practice more accessible and relevant to contemporary practitioners with a focus on physical education, sportsmanship and the cultivation of character. It even introduced a competitive aspect with practitioners donning protective armor and competing in matches judged on technique, precision and spirit. Today, Atarashi Naginata has a global reach with the International Naginata Federation overseeing practice and promotion worldwide. This governing body ensures the integrity and continuity of Naginata practice across different countries and cultures, standardizing rules for competitions, gradings and instruction. Yet, despite these modern adaptations, the traditional schools of Naginata Jutsu continue to thrive. These schools offer a deeper connection to Japan's feudal past and samurai heritage, focusing on pre-arranged forms, historical techniques, and the philosophical underpinnings of martial practice. They serve as a link to the past, a preservation of heritage that sits comfortably alongside the modern practice of Atarashi Naginata. Perhaps one of the most compelling aspects of Naginata is its status as a symbol of female empowerment. The martial art continues to attract female practitioners, offering a space for physical and personal development. This is a legacy that stretches back to the samurai women of old, embodying their strength, courage and resilience. But Naginata is not just about martial prowess, it's also a cultural ambassador, introducing people around the world to Japanese traditions, values and martial arts philosophy. Through workshops, demonstrations and cultural exchange programs, Naginata serves as an educational tool, fostering a sense of community and global connection. Moreover, Naginata practice emphasizes lifelong learning, fitness, and the development of virtues such as respect, perseverance, and harmony. It's a martial art that is open to all ages and skill levels, offering a path of personal growth and development. In the world of Naginata, there's a delicate balance between preserving traditional techniques and values and innovating for modern contexts. This dynamic balance ensures the art remains vibrant and relevant, a testament to its enduring appeal. So there you have it, the tale of the Naginata, a martial art that seamlessly blends tradition and modernity, discipline and empowerment. A practice that continues to evolve, shaped by the contributions of practitioners worldwide, yet remains firmly rooted in its historical origins and values. It's more than just a martial art, it's a way of life, 